Hey everybody, it's Jess Starr with Star Realty Group at Keller Williams Realty. Tonight for our business spotlight, we have some very dear friends of mine and business owners local to the Farmington Valley. I'm with Asta and Andrew of Dom's Coffee and Dom's Cheese Shop. Hey! They are joining us tonight and we're going to talk about our lessons, our failures, building a business, having a small business, what's been happening during the um, current pandemic and what ways they have found that they need to shift and pivot their business during this time. So I'm so excited to have you guys. Thanks for being here with me tonight. Of course, it's our pleasure. So you guys, uh, how long, first of all, tell us a little bit about Dom's Coffee and then Dom's Cheese because Dom's Cheese wasn't always there. No, so uh, we actually ce just celebrated five years for Dom's Coffee. We opened um, May 15th. And of course, as we were always thinking how we're going to celebrate our five year anniversary, we were always thinking big with lots of people and something big in our parking lot to share, you know, with our customers and friends. But unfortunately, it happened that we needed to celebrate it during the, this pandemic that was for sure not planned. And it was different, but still, you know, it's, it's, it's a big thing for us. Uh, five years flew very fast and uh, many many things happened and uh, dam's cheese shop happened during those five years uh, yeah when did you uh, open that because that was in between all of that correct yeah so we added uh two years ago yes yeah and what made you go from having a coffee shop to saying let's open a cheese shop and let's put it all together <laughs> oh because those those business always was together like i think uh just before we opened coffee shop, we were already was uh, European cheese importers in the United States and just... Lithuanian cheese importers. I was going to say, say where you're from. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we started to import uh, our cheese from our country, uh, which has been really successful. And, you know, as, as salespeople, we needed to go and visit many different cheese shops all over Connecticut and Massachusetts and New York. And on the way coming back home, we were always talking, you know, it would be so nice to have something like this in our area. We are big cheese lovers and we always, you know, as our last stop, we always uh, bought a bunch of cheeses and came back home. And we were like, it would be really nice to have a cheese shop in the area. And one night, Andrew as always is like, why won't we add a cheese shop here in, in our place? And in the beginning, it looked like, I don't know, it, I'm not sure it's going to work or maybe not. It's not maybe the right place, the right time, but it actually was perfect place and perfect time. We had this um, library room uh, with two sofas there, as if you remember, it was really cozy and nice. Oh, but yes. I love that there, spot. <laughs> I know, we loved it too, but you know, the weird thing was... Uh, at the max it was two free people sitting there right and for us as the business owners it was a little bit like a waste of it's space, like just you know? i can understand very well like uh we're renting the space with a owning right. building so each square foot <laughs> it just costs us money, money yes. so, yeah so this room was like beautiful nice everybody was enjoying but it didn't make any money for us so right. to add corner of cheese shop was perfect because they like start to make more money uh, for family and uh, make lower costs. Now we use every single inch of that place. <laughs> you do. And you know what I love about you guys is you, you market merchandise, you have baked goods, you have then transitioned. I've seen your transition and your growth over the years from just a coffee shop, then yeah. to get pastries, then to start bringing in lunch and some food and to do the cheese shop and you have small merchandise and you, it just, it's great to see your growth over the years and to see you keep reinventing yourself with each thing. Mm -hmm. That's a new idea, right? Yeah. You know, when we now uh, go through the old pictures from the first year, even when we opened, it looks so different, so empty. We had just a couple pastries on the bar and like, yeah, no merchandise, anything. And then, you know, we needed time. It was really new for us. So we needed kind of test the market and the customers and we were listening what you people were saying and we noticing you know people coming to work for almost all day with their computers and they start to ask us for food you know it's not enough only to have pastry with your coffee so we're like okay we need to start serving something a little bit bigger and 
Andrew's mom, Gitana, who is one more part of this business. She is an amazing cook and uh, all the recipes, most of the recipes is made by her. So we kind of involved her uh, great features to this business too. And now I think our lunch uh, items are really, really nice and people love it and enjoy it. And you know, for us, it was, we had enough time to prepare for every single step what we added. It was, we didn't want it to throw everything in the beginning because we were not sure, you know, what, which direction we should go. It was for us so new. So it was just all coffee business and cheese. It was like for everybody, it's something new. And we just wanted to tell for everybody, like, if you want it, if you're dreaming about something and you're thinking to start some business, just don't think so much, just start. And yeah. after, in on a way, you realize how to solve your problem. Because the more that you think, the more problems you will see and the more issues and questions and everything. Like, we came here, we, in this country, just seven years. And we, one day, we said, you know, let's do this because we missed European style coffee shops with the small tables where you come with your husband or with your friend, sit down, drink coffee and just enjoy time together. And we made it. And now when I think we were really brave because we didn't know anything, we didn't know knew any rules, any people, we didn't have any friends, it's just me, Andrew, Gitana and her husband and that's yeah. it. And now because of this coffee shop, we have so many friends and so many people like you, Jesse, because yeah. you know, we should be so thankful to our business because we met all of these amazing people that we yeah. would not be able to meet if not dance. And you I know, think I, we are I very think... lucky because we are in a very good, very good location and like community, I think all people around us, like uh, some say like we start to build community around Dom's coffee but in the same thing i think like just uh, people were so friendly and... i think it just happened naturally you know yeah. we were there because we were so eager to meet everyone and to invite everyone to come because we needed people so badly as yeah. like friends because like back in Lithuania, we had like you have now here friends from college, from school, neighbors, and here and there. And we came having nothing, just it's each other. Hearts. Yes. It's so yeah. every person who come to the coffee shop, we're like, yes, yes, come in, let's be friends. <laughs> well, you know what I? So this is the thing I have to say about you two, especially, and, and everybody that you have worked here, because it's really Keller Williams, where I work, is all about culture and it's all about community and it's all about giving back and it's having a servant heart and I love that you're immigrants to this country and I love seeing the grit and the hustle and the heart and those are things I look for for team members on my team and I see that in your coffee shop and what I love most is the community you've built in that coffee shop and that you know your clients so well when I talk about the guy that draws his pictures and I talk about the you know, it's amazing to me because I also know them. We're the guys that sells the Caterpillar equipment. <laughs> and you know what I mean? Like, we're all friends now, too. Yeah. And we can leave our kids and go to the bathroom. And <laughs> Yeah, no, exactly. It's a beautiful community that you've created. And that's actually really rare. And you say everybody in the Farmington Valley is so friendly. And yet I've heard plenty of other business owners that might disagree. And your perspective well, this, is everything. This is like some, uh, some I think you get what you expect from people and yeah. I don't know as yeah as we said we came with so open hearts and we needed people so badly in our lives and I don't know I think so, we so were this, really this is we with Asta like um, we're very good business partners and uh, I think like we're like perfect <laughs> we have couple. good days and bad days <laughs> yeah so but uh, we, we have like different opinions about uh, some things like and Asta, uh, for example, Asta reading a lot of motivation books and they like teaching. Thanks to you. <laughs> and they're teaching a lot of about like how strong personality you should be. You should like reach your goals and you should go forward and do that thing. I'm like more um, practical person and I'm thinking <laughs> like nothing belongs to you. Just first of all, you should give something and after the day. Yeah. yeah. So this is, I think, very, very important. So this, this is my life credo and I'm going like that. But, you know, I 
I don't think that, at least not me, like, we don't think... She, she not agree, I'll No. <laughs> well, yeah, but you know what? I think that that's actually perfect. Just like my husband and I, we're yin and yang, and you need people to compliment you. And yeah. I remember when Asa started reading the book, because one of the things I do is I will take time and I time block it in my calendar as a business owner to work on my business. Mm -hmm. And you guys know I'll come and I love my yeah. seat on yeah. the couch. And I will sit there and I'll take, you know, a Friday morning and I'll sit there for an hour if I can and catch up on some of the business books that I'm reading, catch up on my journal and think and take the time to think. So many business owners don't schedule in that time to think, to give yourself the white space so that you can come up with new ideas, you yeah. can solve problems, you can have these new um, creative things and kind of business plan and future plan. They just think of today. And they're not thinking five years out, a year out, and what they can accomplish or the events they can do or the people they can give back to through their business, which then comes back tenfold, not because you intend for it to, it's just what happens. So, so you we, guys I don't totally agree because you know when you're so, like you're stuck in your business and as much as we love being at the coffee shop, even on our days off, we always, okay, let's stop just for coffee. And then we stay for like half day because then we have time to talk with you, with other people, you know. And But sometimes you just need to leave somewhere, not like for vacation, but just for a day, you know, and just to see it from a different perspective, to yeah, have time for yourself to sit down and think through everything. And I think this pandemic was a really good example to everyone that, when we need, we can make changes really fast and then we find resources and we find time and we find people who can help us because we need it right now and we do it. We don't say, oh, I will maybe think about that tomorrow. I will do that next year. I will do that next week. Now we understood that there is no ne next week. We need to do something now in order to survive. It's like Tony Robbins says, when your shoulds become must. People spend a lot of time shooting all over themselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it, then that, that's totally true. And we were the same. We were saying, oh, yeah, one day we will do this. One day we will try that. And this one day came. Yeah. It's a gift of the shift, to be honest with you. And the gift of the pandemic is it showed, I think, so many business owners holds that we had in our business, whether that was in our profit and loss statement, whether that was in members of our business, you know, whether... There's so many different things, whether that was in the amount of product that we ordered that we might not need as much of, or, yeah. you know, and, and you guys, like, I, let's talk about that because it's a great transition into the pivot of what you had to do. You had closed down for a, a few weeks and then... Seven, actually. Yeah. And that, we were very <laughs> sad. <laughs> and it's like those seven weeks for me was so, so pain, painful mental. Like, I was like... Every morning, like, like I was sleeping bad, and every morning was like, oh, Asta, we should go and open a coffee shop. And Asta watching on the news, so just bad and bad, worse numbers. And I just like, no, we cannot. So like, we like totally reopening coffee shop next Monday on June 1st, from eight till four, for all seven days per week. And I was telling today for everybody on the phone, we're opening on June 1st and we never close again. Never say never, you know, to say. <laughs> but here's the thing. So I want to talk about, so you close. So I'd love to, you know, talk about your mindset because I think that's what, and that's why I started these business spotlights was to motivate other business owners that were like, you're stuck in headlights. I saw some people posting like, well, I can't do this. And then they started making face masks mm -hmm. or then they started streaming classes or then they, but they didn't have the people inspiring them or talking to them or motivating them to let them know they could think differently and think thicker, right? We're doing listing appointments where I've never even been into the listing, but I've done it entirely digital, all via Zoom or FaceTime. We've yeah. signed all the documents digital. I've given them staging recommendations digital and sold their house in a day with only one showing because of the 360 tours we provided to limit all the other showings. Wow. So we pivoted. To that and yet i looked at you guys and so you had closed because mindset obviously and fear probably yeah. was a big thing right you know for us we are family business right we have dominic who is eight and because of the school closing he's with us all the time so we need to think not only about us and our employees who were you know they were expressing that they i remember saturday uh before the um, quarantine was announced i was uh, working at the at the shop and 
couple of our crew members, they were like, Asta, how do you feel? Because the coffee shop was packed. It was so many people. No one was even like concerned about anything happening yet. And we already knew that it's not good. The numbers are growing like enormously every day. And they were starting to express their fear, like what's going to be. And then uh, Monday, I think, yeah, we woke up and I said, you know, all these numbers and everything, we have Dominic each other, we, uh, we should push on breaks, I think, a little bit. We should see what's happening. And then from Tuesday, we closed like totally for seven weeks. And as Andrew said, you know, the first week was like, okay, we will see what's happening, how it's going to be. Everything will be fine. We'll reopen it the next like week. was like we had. First week was kind like of half. yes because we were so like mouses in the wheel you know nobody running knew. all the time yeah. yes and we had no time to stop and think and then after one week we're like okay it's not going to the good direction at all it's like keep like growing and growing and growing what will we do we cannot be closed all the time it's our family income too all the you know bills are growing both for home and for business it's we should come up with some strategy and. Yeah. So in the beginning, we started to do cheese boxes, uh, yeah. the deliveries on Fridays, because we were thinking, you know, I don't people... know how, I'm so sorry, I don't know how this one happened so natural, and this one happened We were thinking that. about that for a long time. We should do the subscription for people to order. And cheese then, club, cheese lovers club. Yeah, but then, oh, we need to find the right boxes, we need to find the right time, we need to That's find the right shipper <laughs> and everything. And then he, as always, he's like, okay, we starting cheese boxes. I'm like, okay, one, well, how? How are we gonna do this? Let's make a post and then we will figure it out, you know? And then people start falling immediately like crazy. They're like, oh my God, we staying home all the time, Friday, we cannot wait yes. for that. We will get some wine and it's gonna be our date night, you know? And we have couples who wait Again, we never thought about that. It and will you be know, so it's successful. Like and this one, very good example. When people say like that, the biggest enemy for you just your yourself. yourself. Yeah. And it was was the same. Like I, I remember all, all messaging the... some of you and saying, "Hey, what's going on? Why don't Why don't we do something?" Yeah, you know, it's like we always was talking about like cheese delivery in the area, and we yep. say like, "Oh no, how much time you need to spend." how much gas costs, it doesn't work. We even never sit and count. We just always was telling like, it's impossible and this doesn't work. Because it was easier, you know. Yeah. Ah. And I remember when we in coronavirus, we started to make cheese box deliveries. After first trip, we're coming back home with us and still like, oh my God. We lost a, so much it's so in like, all the time that we didn't like, start it earlier, you know. Yeah, people like to get something home. And we were making small trip, and this Farmington Valley actually it's not so big. So you travel, you customers like crazy happy about that. So this is the most important part. Yeah, and he takes like, one route, I take another route, and we meet at the home in the end of the day, and it's it's. Well, me. you guys go through the process even before the pandemic because we had. One of the things we had done just before, we hadn't been able to make it, but we had actually gone to one of your wine and cheese pairings just before we got shut down. Yeah. yeah. And we had the most amazing time and we sat with wonderful people, obviously. And, you know, I thought, how great are you guys that you're putting these together? They're always sold out. And now I see that like in this shift, what you've done is you've created the cheese boxes now, you have reopened. You, customers are not coming into the store, but they are standing spatially apart outside. Um, you have put up a plexiglass and you have a serving window at the front door, which is beautiful. I noticed that in a weekend, you put out a patio that you knew you were gonna need. Yeah. So you made that pivot right yeah. away. Um, patio we were planning again two for years. two years. Two it years. happens in a weekend. Oh, you know, right. the patio was, oh, it's spring. It's wrong time. Summer will be much better. <laughs> Summer, it's no. not enough busy, it doesn't work. It's too hot, autumn, no one will sit outside. Yes. Autumn will be, fall will be better. Fall, September, <laughs> we'll back after vacation, maybe it's not time, and you know winter is coming. <laughs> well, so, you have, you can give yourself all the excuses in the world, but then again, yeah. your shoulds become must because you closed for seven weeks and you need to reinvent yourself pretty fast again, yeah. right? And 
Yet, so you've got that window set up, you put the patio out, you have safety measures in place for how people can now get their coffee and it's a limited menu, yet it's still what people love and you have lines coming you know, into the parking lot, which is great. Um, I've noticed that you've also started your wine and cheese pairings again, but you're doing them digitally to reinvent yes. yourself. And there's an event coming up, am I right? Yes, actually this Saturday, our first uh, virtual cheese and wine tasting and again, it was, as you said, we love those events. It was once a month, but it was, it's a lot of work. But when you stand there in front of all the people, it's the best feeling ever because you see all, most of your customers, some new people, some previous, but it's just such a great time to spend together. You have more time to chat with everyone. And it's just, it's a fun night. Yeah. And we were talking with Andrew how we miss them. And it's, we had no idea when, again we can do that and then we we got reached out by one of our uh, distributors and she said would you be interested in doing the virtual class and I'm like how that even how is that even possible how is that how is that how is that even, how is that even practical? i'm like i am not sure if people will be interested in that but okay let's talk and let's see and then after our conversation when this girl explained everything to us we're like okay let's do this it's such so nice so different so we're doing the first one this Saturday and um, yeah the super easy thing you just um, get your tickets you come on Saturdays you pick up your prepared platters what you get when you come to our event with all the pairings uh, you get uh, wine and then you go home you turn on your zoom uh, you, you can in, wear pajama, pajama in your sofa no one will see you you don't need to drive after that you don't need to get a babysitter it's just you and your partner enjoying the wines and watching us talking, watching all the videos. We have um, videos from the producers, from the farms where the cheeses are made. They had like virtual tours for us oh. prepared to show like everything, all of the kitchen, how it's happening. We will have wine person. So it's, it's the same, but different at the same time. You know what, and, actually, um, for what that what you that did, um, I love this because, well, first of all, just to reintroduce you guys to anybody else that's joining us, Asta and Andrew from Dom's Cheese and Dom's Coffee Shop in Avon, Connecticut, they are doing a wine and cheese pairing virtually or digitally so we can remain, uh, people I know have come up with the term socially distanced and I have chosen physically distanced um, yeah. because we're still going to be social. Yeah. Um, and what I love that you've done actually is think about all the people that maybe for years have not been able to go out or maybe have not felt comfortable enough to really socialize, but feel kind of more comfortable in this environment. Think yeah. of what a window to the world you've offered them by doing this because you decided to reinvent yourself and think differently. So afterwards, we're going to make sure that we post the link um, below to get tickets to that as well. So I think that should be a great thing. And honestly, you could invite friends um, to do it with you and you could invite friends throughout the country if you really wanted to at some point and go bigger with this, right? So yep. um, you just need a little bigger ordering time. But <laughs> <laughs> um, I think this is an amazing opportunity to do that. And also what I loved when you did this event, um, when we were there physically um, at the Farmington Club was you had some very dynamic speakers that talked about the wine that were from Spain. And they talked yeah. about the regions that the wine was from and you gave a map and it was really dynamic with the way that you put it together and beautiful. And I can sense already that this is gonna be the same kind of thing just in a totally different platform. So I'm super excited yeah. to see this. It's, it's got for us, it's, I am very excited because it's first time and I am of course nervous, but like it's gonna be so great. And it's, you know, it's like we're always preparing for those events, like uh, some just simple questions, but a lot of people are afraid to ask those questions. Like, uh, you know, when usually when you're in some tasting and you're listening to wine sommelier and he's like talking hands towards 80% of people who are sitting in a class, they're afraid to ask because they don't understand something. I'm always this person who is asking. And uh, so I think this making our customers more comfortable and more happy because they say like, finally, I know what's mean now this, this word, because Andrew has that. And you, you know, know, we will have the chat like we have now, so people will be able to just shoot questions for us and like, oh, you're not sure what that means. Okay, so this means this and this and this. It's, 
it's gonna be like talking with your friend, you know, just learning something and enjoying some nice cheeses, some nice wine. So, what can you know, be wrong about that? It will be a very, very important actual cheese tasting because for this cheese tasting, we took so main cheeses in the world like Cravero Parmigiano Reggiano, Manchego from La Mancha. Those cheeses, what people thinking, oh, I know this cheese, this is from Italy. It's not just from Italy, it's so much behind those cheeses. Like after I think this hour virtual cheese tasting, people yeah. will be much more knowledgeable about cheese and will look differently. And it will be nice to travel from France to Italy to Spain to so Holland. That's actually, I think, the opportunity you guys really have. If I see this as a business person, I think. If it was me sitting home with my husband and we've been stuck with four kids at home for months on end and have really stuck to this quarantine thing, I think you give us an opportunity to a window to the world to yeah. escape. Right? Yeah. It's just like just, yeah, well, little. This is one more thing what's born in uh, coronavirus, this uh, pandemic. Uh, pandemic. So we was talking with our friends in Europe who have like travel agents and travel company and they allow they used to work with Korea, South Korean people and from, with uh, Scandinavian countries. So they now living very bad time because everything is closed. Right. So we start to rolling little by little idea how later we can take groups of people in the United States to go in Europe and visit some cheese makers, cheese place and spend nice weeks somewhere in Italy to find all those Parmigiano caves, sit and drink Italian wine and come back real cheesemongers. You know this makes me just want to sit here with you and mastermind <laughs> on how you can make this even bigger because what I love that I'm hearing from you is inspiration. And I am hearing ideas starting to form that you would have never probably thought of before had you not been put into this situation. What a blessing we've been given and what a gift. You know, when we are in our comfort zones, when everything is so easy, just sit in your car, go to work, you know, everything. We, we have some dramas here and there, but most of the time it's your normal days, you know, and your normal challenges. But in situations like that, of course, it's really bad. But from the other perspective, I think it's been really good for most of the businesses because, as you said, it's we reinvented ourselves. Yeah. We we saw the channels for business that we never ever thought about before and now we had nothing to lose so we needed to take it all and try you know and risk and i, I think most of us as we talk with our other uh, business owners i think it worked really nicely i mean we find the way how to survive you know you guys so impress me talk. every single day and you talk. inspire your community it's yeah. amazing. I just actually I just talked to David, uh, owner of our coffee shop from Farmington Valley, uh, from Giving Canton, Jeff, and he said like it's so interesting. Like in one night, they change coffee shop in online store. Like in one night, they was like, oh, what's what happened? We are closed, and in the morning they start online sales, and they he said like they doing really good. So. You see, it's like, when you There's, just kick it in the ass. When you see the, if you ever watch the show Shark Tank, and <laughs> I very rarely watch TV, but when I watch it, and I, I met Mr. Wonderful at a Rachel Hollis event in Chicago. Oh, really? Oh, of course you did. You met Mrs. So, Wonderful. <laughs> so he was amazing. And what he said was he invests in companies that he has people just like you, where they're, they're gritty, they have hustle, they have heart. And he invested in, I think it was called Wicked Good Cupcakes. Mm -hmm. And it was this little company in Massachusetts, and it was in an area that he had lived. And um, he talked about it, and it was so inspiring because he said, you know, they, they had amazing cupcakes. And it wasn't just that, but the idea on how they put them in the jars and how they could ship them and blah, blah, blah. So mm -hmm. they changed their company overnight with a website after being on Shark Tank. And luckily, they had somebody in their family that knew how to kind of maximize because of the company he worked at and mm -hmm. protect um, the website so it didn't crash but after being on Shark Tank, that it nearly crashed and it was a very major corporation that was an IT company this guy, the spouse had worked for. And he wow. said, it's amazing to see the influence and the power that people can have um, with just a good idea and a little 
persuasion from other people that are influential. And I think it's great as business owners to inspire each other, just like you're talking with the owner of Give Coffee. You know, there's real estate agents in this group that post to call them and that's okay. I've never limited to one of them and I haven't posted to call me either because it's about supporting other businesses and giving back, yeah. right? And exactly. helping each other. There's enough business for everybody. Exactly, exactly. We are not here to fight with anyone, you know. We are all stronger together. It's not uh, against anyone. Right. So, you guys, you inspire me every single day. I think the special secret sauce is that you, the people that you surround yourself with, your special coffee and cheese shop is just so endearing and so sweet. And you bring a level of comfort to everybody you meet. Um, whether you know it or not and because you're yourselves even though you might have a high-end cheese tasting you make <laughs> it so relatable and so I just so comfortable that people don't feel silly or stupid for asking a question and if they don't like it they don't have to eat it or if they, <laughs> but you make it yeah. and, and what is also so sweet is Andrew's words when he messes up his words I love that because it's the best it's always hilarious so <laughs> Um, I, it's really cute. So I think you guys should just always be you and keep that and keep dreaming and keep getting bigger and never shut your doors. There's always a way to reinvent yourself. How can yeah. people reach you if they need to reach you? 860 so. 707. <laughs> <laughs> no, the easiest way is 20 West Main Street, Avon. We, yeah. as Andrew said, we will be there now every single day, 8 to 4. And by the way, we just built a website for G Shop. In yes, <laughs> yes, that's another thing that we finally made. Uh, we built a cheese, uh, website for cheese Shop. So if you want some cheeses, you can either give us a call or you can uh, scroll on our website and you can see which cheeses we have in stock Dumps now. Dumpscheese.com. And we have most of the cheeses. You, you come, you call, open your trunk, contactless delivery. We go there, we wave to you and, and that's it. And we're so happy to answer phone yes. all the time. Doesn't matter, or Asta in the shower, I answering phone, <laughs> or Andrew somewhere else, or we go in to visit my mom. We always have our notebook, we have a pen, and we have phone. So we don't talking when we're driving. But <laughs> one is driving, another one is talking. We like, always together. So. We're always taking photos. <laughs> you guys are always is amazing and I always love it because when John and I call because we like having our date nights and going to local wineries or having a picnic we'll always pick up cheese and sometimes we can't we never remember the name so we're like just make us something make us a bag we'll like it it's fine we don't care <laughs> here's our card <laughs> just make us a like <laughs> And actually, yeah, from June 1st, we are starting to make our sandwiches again. So we just created, we finalized today some nice new uh, recipes that we cannot wait to show you and to present to you. And we're waiting for the furniture to finally come, hopefully next week for our patio. So you can uh, sit down there under the umbrellas and enjoy. Just enjoy beautiful uh, weather and some social distancing time with your friends. And for and now, it's only outside, right? Yes. So and we had a lot of time in those seven weeks to learn more things, even about coffee, what we're serving and about food, what we're preparing. So Dom's Coffee and Dom's Cheese Shop, of course, Dom's Coffee now more promise for all customers in the close future to offer more healthy food, more delicious food. And we I don't want to say like we totally switching, but we're making small turn to more healthy products. So because our health and immune system, it is so important for all of us. So Dom's Coffee going straight to that direction. Good. I'm glad to hear it. I'm sure plenty of your fans and clients are so thrilled too. Also, they can find you guys at Dom's Cheese on Instagram, right? Yes. yes. And Dom's Coffee on Instagram. They have a really big Instagram Yeah, we post following. all of the news there, all of the like work hours and uh, when we open, what we're serving, any special deals, anything. Our event is there as well. So awesome. follow us everywhere and you will know what we are up to. Awesome. Well, I am grateful to you guys. Thank you for being on here. You're amazing. We'll make sure to post the links below when we post this and share it to everybody. 
I hope yeah. you stay well. I can't wait to see everything open again so we can <laughs> finally at some point hug each other again. And yes, I cannot wait to hug people. That's oh. the thing that is the most. I said when I'm seeing clients, I'm like putting my hands under my arms because I always want to hug everybody. So, yes, so exactly. So, exactly. No, it's going to be back to normal soon, I know, and we just learn from our mistakes and now we will spend even more time with our friends and with family and yes. with everyone. Yes. Well, awesome. Thank you so much. And thanks to everybody for joining us for the Business Spotlight this week. Dom's Cheese and Dom's Coffee, we are grateful to you. We hope you learned some lessons with us today. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me anytime. Just start with Star Realty Group or post in this group, and I'm happy to help you guys out either way. Have a great Thank night, everybody. You for being an inspiration to everyone and for being so open and for being so nice and friendly and for everything what you do. Sam, so I hear an accident about your office, so please stop <laughs> by tomorrow and I'll make you new one. <laughs> They're talking about, I bought my husband a coffee today and everybody was lined up. I brought it home to him. He put it on the trailer, took the lawnmower off and dumped his coffee everywhere. <laughs> Don't you worry. It's fine. We're fine. We'll, we'll go back. <laughs> All right, you guys. We love you. Thank you so much. Bye. Have a great night. Bye, Bye everybody.